so we have already learned how to calculate stress due to bending moment m and you know the stress is given by m y by i at any fiber which is at a distance of y from the neutral axis okay which passes through the centroid of your cross section well in this video we'll discuss about a problem related to this stress calculator okay so let's start let's say this is a beam simply supported okay this is clamped in two end and it is not any under action of any load but the temperature at the bottom of this beam is T1 and at the top of this beam the temperature is T0 okay and it is given that your T1 is greater than your T0 what does it mean that means if the cross section is let's say for convenience let's say this is a rectangular section so if this is the neutral axis let's say this is your neutral axis okay and here the temperature is something but at the bottom it is maximum and at the top it is minimum so due to this temperature this bottom fiber try to elongate compared to this one that means there is a strain variation within this section okay so due to this strain variation obviously there will be a stress variation also okay and we have to find what is the stress in each of this fiber okay so before that you have to know what is the temperature profile well if this is the neutral surface we have already learned what is neutral surface is well here the temperature is your t0 plus t1 by 2 okay this is the temperature at your neutral surface and in any other fiber this temperature is given by this equation okay so t is t0 plus t1 by 2 plus your temperature difference between top and bottom divided by h h is the total depth of the section okay and times y okay so excluding this neutral surface plane in any plane this temperature varies linearly okay and proportional to your y well to find the stress you need to know three things first one is your moment second one is the distance of the fiber from the neutral axis and last one the cross-sectional property or the moment of inertia about neutral axis well for a rectangular section you know if this is the h this is b the i is given by one twelfth of b h q so i is known to you and you know that neutral axis pass through centroid so you can measure the y also the last one remaining is you don't know what is the value of this moment okay so you have to find the value of this moment due to this temperature variation well it is also clear to you due to this temperature variation this is the most tempered fiber that's why it has elongated maximum and it is the least tempered fiber so it has not elongated anymore so compared to this one or with respect to this fiber there is a strain profile okay and corresponding to this strain profile we can find the stress profile also okay so let's go back to the very basic theory for a moment well if this was our beam you know after application the load it was bent like this okay and this was the radius of curvature measured from this neutral axis okay or neutral surface and you have already learned if we consider a small portion like this with theta so this fiber has elongated compared to the neutral surface further and here we have already calculated in our last videos that the strain in this fiber 
where the distance of this fiber is y from the neutral axis is given by y by r if you don't know how this come you may watch my previous videos okay so this is the strain and here you can see that the strain varies linearly with your y okay so strain varies linearly with y now consider a body which i have already discussed in last videos where a body or a bar was under the consideration of temperature differentiation previously it was under temperature t0 then the temperature was increased to t1 what was the elongation if the length was l you know for alpha alpha is the thermal coefficient okay in this case also let's say the thermal coefficient is alpha okay so for this alpha thermal coefficient the elongation was alpha times l times t1 minus t0 okay or the delta l was your this one okay so what was the strain strain is nothing but delta l by l and here delta l is alpha l times temperature differentiation t1 minus t0 divided by l so you are getting strain or specifically this is thermal strain okay so thermal strain is getting as alpha times t1 minus t0 so whatever may be the lane if we know the thermal coefficient and the temperature difference we can find the thermal strain okay so here for this beam you know at the prints at the uh, plane here or the or the plane at neutral surface your temperature is this one okay now let's say this is the cross section and the principal strain or principal plane or neutral axis is this one so if we go downward the increment of any fiber let's say this one which is at a distance of y from this neutral axis is t1 minus t0 by h times y simply given by this term okay so this is the extra temperature or delta t so thermal strain in this fiber is given by your alpha times delta t or alpha times t1 minus t0 by h times y okay so you have got your strain at any fiber at a distance of y from this neutral axis now again use this formula strain strain is given by your y by r by the way why we are doing so much things because we have to find this moment okay once we find the moment we can calculate the stress okay so from this formula we can find this radius of curvature or r as y by strain or r can be written as your y divided by your strain is this one so alpha t1 minus t0 divided by h times y cancel out y so r is coming as your h divided by alpha times t1 minus t0 so you have calculated this radius of curvature in the last video you have already learned that this radius of curvature can be expressed by this formula okay where m is the moment acting on the beam well in that case this moment was caused by this external load p and it was deflected due to this moment m okay and the radius of curvature was expressed by this formula well here due to this non uniform temperature profile this beam again has deflected and why it is already clear to you because at the bottom the temperature is maximum compared to the top 
so the top fiber is under compression and bottom one is in tension that's why it has bent so we can eliminate all these temperature things by this moment we can assume that a moment is acting like the, this that's why it has bent like this okay so from that we can calculate that moment is nothing but your e i by radius of curvature okay so once you find the radius of curvature by this equation you can find or you can calculate the moment also okay so our moment is coming due to this non uniform temperature can be written as m is equal to e i divided by r is your h by alpha times t1 minus t0 or e i by h times alpha times t1 minus t0 this is the moment caused by this non uniform temperature clear so now you can calculate the stress by the million dollar formula of our civil engineering that is stress is equal to m y by i you know what is i well if this is your section okay so if this is the neutral axis this is h by 2 this is b and let's say here you are intended to find the stress so this is y so stress at this particular fiber is written by sigma where sigma is equal to m is e i by h times alpha times t1 minus t0 times y divided by i what is i you know for this rectangular section i is 1 12th of b h cube okay this is the i so put it 1 12th b h cube okay so this is the stress which is being generated due to this non uniform temperature in your beam which is clamped at both side okay at the neutral surface this is t0 plus t1 by 2 at top this is t0 at bottom the temperature is t1 where t1 is greater than t0 okay thermal coefficient is alpha the stress at any fiber at anywhere you can find by this formula that's all for now